How does the environment influence the choice of sexual partners? Is it possible to maintain an active sexual life after becoming parents? Hello to all lovers of psychology and sexuality. Today, we will unveil the sexual curiosities of women. If you are interested in these topics, make sure to subscribe and activate the notification bell to not miss our future videos. Also, leave us comments and share your experiences in the section below. Let's get started. The environment and social circumstances can influence the choice of sexual partners by determining opportunities and cultural norms. Sexual relationships are often influenced by external factors, such as the availability of partners and social expectations. It is possible to maintain an active sexual life after becoming parents. The key lies in open communication, planning, flexibility, and mutual care. Although the arrival of a child changes the dynamics, finding moments for intimacy strengthens the connection in the couple's relationship. Exploration of sexuality. Open relationships can provide a safe space for people to explore their sexuality more fully and satisfactorily without feeling constrained by traditional norms. Fantasy positions. Sexual fantasies can influence women's preferences for sexual positions, leading them to experiment with positions that reflect their deepest desires and fantasies. Feminist pornography. A feminist pornography movement has emerged, seeking to create content that represents female sexuality in a more realistic and empowered way, challenging established gender norms in the industry. Focus on freedom. Open relationships often focus on promoting individual freedom and autonomy, allowing people to explore their sexuality more broadly. Food fetishism. Food fetishism involves sexual attraction to certain foods or eating practices. This can manifest in erotic games involving food, such as using chocolate or strawberries during sexual activity. In European countries like France and Spain, sexual education campaigns in media and social networks are conducted to raise awareness among young people about consent, respect, and prevention of sexual violence. Gender change fantasies. Some people have sexual fantasies about changing gender or experiencing sexuality from the perspective of the other gender. These fantasies can be a way to explore gender identity and sexual expression. Genre diversification. Pornography has experienced diversification of genres and niches, ranging from conventional to extremely specialized, to cater to a wide range of sexual interests. Glove fetishism involves sexual attraction to the use of gloves, whether latex, leather, or other material, which may be related to texture, shine, or association with certain roles or erotic activities. Hair fetishism. Some people have a specific fetish for certain types of hair, whether long, short, curly, or straight. This fetish may include the desire to stroke, smell, or play with another person's hair during sexual activities. Hand fetishism involves sexual attraction towards hands, either admiring the aesthetic appearance of a partner's hands or engaging in erotic activities involving touch or manipulation of hands. Historical cultural fetishes. Throughout history, different cultures have had specific fetishes. For example, in ancient Greece, the beauty of young men and love between young and adult men, known as pederasty, was valued. HIV, the human immunodeficiency virus, is one of the most well-known sexually transmitted diseases. It attacks the immune system and, if left untreated, can progress to AIDS, acquired immunodeficiency syndrome, a chronic and potentially life-threatening condition. Hypersexuality is a condition in which a person experiences a significant increase in sexual desire. It can be debilitating and requires treatment if negatively affecting someone's life. Impact on relationships. Premature ejaculation can have a significant impact on intimate relationships, causing stress, frustration, and resentment in the partner if not properly addressed. Impact on self-esteem. Anorgasmia can have a negative impact on self-esteem and self-confidence, especially if the individual feels embarrassed or guilty for not being able to achieve orgasm. Importance of partner support. Partner support and understanding are crucial for overcoming premature ejaculation, 
as open communication and a collaborative attitude can facilitate the search for and implementation of effective treatments. Importance of safe sex. Practicing safe sex, including the use of condoms and other contraceptive methods, is essential for preventing unwanted pregnancies and sexually transmitted diseases. Improvement in emotional well-being. Masturbation can be an effective way to reduce anxiety, improve mood, and promote emotional well-being by releasing tension and increasing the sensation of pleasure. Individual differences. What works for one person in treating anorgasmia may not work for another, as causes and contributing factors can vary significantly from one person to another. Influence of religious and cultural beliefs. Religious and cultural beliefs can have a significant impact on attitudes towards sexuality and sexual practices. Some cultures value abstinence and chastity, while others promote sexual freedom and individual expression. Inspiration for experimentation. The detailed illustrations and descriptions of the Kama Sutra have inspired many couples to experiment with new techniques and sexual positions, which can revitalize the sex life and increase emotional connection between partners. Internet popularity. Pornography is one of the most searched for and consumed content on the internet, representing a significant portion of web traffic worldwide. In contemporary Japanese society, manga and anime often address topics related to sexuality and interpersonal relationships, providing young people with an alternative source of information on these subjects. Carezza is an approach to sexual intimacy that focuses on emotional connection and mindfulness rather than orgasm. This practice promotes prolonged and deep sexual relationships based on the idea that controlling arousal can strengthen the connection between partners. In indigenous communities in Latin America, sex education may be integrated into initiation ceremonies and traditional rituals, transmitting knowledge about sexuality in a culturally relevant and respectful manner. Lifestyle factors. Factors such as excessive alcohol consumption, smoking, and sedentary lifestyle can contribute to premature ejaculation by affecting sexual function and overall health. Luxury toys. There are luxury sex toys made with high-quality materials, such as gold, silver, or even diamonds. These toys are designed for individuals seeking exclusive and luxurious experiences in their intimacy, masturbation, and self-awareness. Both men and women can learn more about their bodies and sexual responses through masturbation. Self-exploration can help discover which type of stimulation is most effective in achieving orgasm. Masturbation as a healthy practice. Masturbation is a normal and healthy sexual activity that can provide pleasure, relieve stress, and help people learn about their own bodies and sexual desires. Masturbation in the Bible. Although masturbation has often been viewed as taboo in some cultures, the Bible does not explicitly mention masturbation. Interpretations vary. Medications and orgasm. Some medications, such as antidepressants, can affect a person's ability to reach orgasm. This is a known side effect of certain medications. Human sexuality is a fascinating and diverse field that never ceases to amaze us. Sexual curiosities unveil the wonderful complexity of the human experience in the intimate realm. As we explore and understand these facts, it is crucial to remember that each individual is unique in their sexual experience. Respecting and communicating with your partner are the keys to a satisfying and healthy sexual life. Sexual education and understanding are essential tools for fully embracing our sexuality.